Welcome to Jay's Two Cents exclusive insider coverage of CES 2014. Our trip this year is brought to you by Aqua Tuning, your global source for PC modding and cooling components, and by Sennheiser, the pursuit of perfect sound, and of course, by generous viewers like you. So strap in with Jay's Two Cents as he takes you on a wild ride through CES 2014. Hey guys, Jace Two Cents here at CES 2014, continuing our exclusive insider coverage. And I'm here at the Power Color Suite, checking out some really awesome graphics cards. Now you guys may recognize this bad boy right here. This is the 270X Devil that has been out since uh, around October. It's got some pretty neat features, aftermarket cooling, full length PCB, and uh, of course this really awesome backplate. But we're gonna take a look at some things today that are new for CES and Power Color, because uh, you guys have been asking about 290X custom cooler solutions, and obviously everybody is responding to you at the same time as there are now a ton of custom cooler options, and that's what we have right here. What I'm holding in my hand is the Power Color 290X with the PCS Plus cooling option on here. Uh, this is available in a 290 and a 290X, and the specs on this for the 290X are 1,050 megahertz on the core clock for the 290X and uh, 1,040 megahertz core clock on the 290. So as you know, with the 290 and 290X, the specs are very, very similar. I mean, it's got a 1,350 megahertz, uh, yeah, 1,350 megahertz memory speed on there uh, at 5.4 Gbps. It's got uh, 512 megabit memory bus width, which is really unique, obviously, for this next generation AMD card. But what really makes these coolers unique now is the fact that they're able to tame the heat that has just been generated in these cards. Now, uh, the cooling options that Power Color has come out with have generally been pretty cool. Now, maybe air cooling isn't your thing. Maybe you're a water cooler like I am. Well, what I'm holding here is the PowerColor LCS R9 290X. I'm assuming LCS stands for liquid cooling system. Now, PowerColor has teamed up with EK to bring you a high quality water block right out of the box. So you don't have to take off the water or the air cooler. You don't have to worry about maybe voiding your warranty. They've already done it for you. Now, the speed on this is 1060 megahertz core clock, the same memory speed at 1350, and it is a four gigabyte model. So it's only 10 megahertz faster than the 290X PCS Plus version, but you're going to have a lot more headroom for overclocking on this, absolutely 100% silent operation of your graphics card, and you're going to have just pretty much the ability to say that you have a badass card here with water cooling out of the box. I mean, a lot of companies have gone with some reference cooling uh, for liquid coolers, and they've you know, teamed up with some companies, but they just don't look good. But Power Color pulled out all the stops and went with EK, which we all know is a sexy water block. And of course, it has this really cool looking backplate already on there. So even though it's got some heft to it, you're not going to be worrying about bending the card at all or, or yanking it out of your motherboard because it's got the support right on there. Okay, so we talked about the LCS 290X here from Power Color, but just how does it perform? Well, we've got an LCS system right here in uh, this build here at the Power Color suite, but we're running Battlefield 4 here on an i Affinity setup. So for clarification, we have one 290X LCS in here. And go ahead and come over here and show the, the, the screens here. Now, this is using iFinity. And right now I have this set on high settings, which I feel would be where you would want to set the system for a, a three monitor setup like this with one card. And as you can see, we're just under 50 frames per second over here. So one card that's able to give you that kind of power, and I'm assuming that it's not even overclocked beyond factory. Now imagine if you were to put two of these in one system, what would be capable, and what, what you could do with that. So if you're considering building an iFinity setup or surround system, or you just want to go for the ultimate gaming experience, you definitely want to consider the Power Color LCS 290X. Um, it's going to be available hopefully in the next, uh, hopefully this quarter, but as you guys know, when it comes to releases and things, anything could change. So as for release, you guys are just going to have to keep checking with Power Color to see when that's available. Uh, but if you, you know, you guys know Battlefield is an extremely, extremely uh, strenuous game, especially with the new Frostbite engine. So and it, and clearly right here, it has no issues whatsoever. Now I wanted to see how it was doing on Ultra just for the heck of it. And at three times 1080p monitors on Ultra, it was still getting about 30 frames per second solid with no tearing and no uh, stutters or anything. So there you go, guys. This has been the PowerColor LCS 290X here at CES 2014. Make sure you're following on Twitter so you don't miss any of our coverage. And as always, I will see you in my next video.